notane. Hanotain Sheleg Nice Katsamer Very nice. Hanotain Sheleg Katsamer. He gives snow like wool. Kefor Kaefer Nice. Yefazir. Beautiful. So try those last three words a few times, Joseph, until it becomes more fluid, and you'll begin to appreciate the music of the Hebrew. Kefor ka'efer yefazir. Kefor ka'efer yefazir. Beautiful. Once Kefor, more, Kefor, 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 Beautiful. Very nice. Let's look at the verse that uh, precedes it, and we'll be a little bit more of the Hebrew detectives on this one. Generally, our, our goal on these pieces of scripture is to learn some Hebrew words and to uh, sometimes learn a little bit of grammar. Um, we have some vocabulary here that we can review. Um, Maria, would you like to try reading the red words and I'll help you if you need a letter? Sure. Okay. Um... Uh... What's the last letter? The kuf is the last letter. Hazuf. Hazak. Hazak. Nice. Right. There's a phrase in, in uh, Hebrew, chazak ve'amatz, be strengthened and be fortified. Chazak, chazak ve'hit chazak. Um, we recite that at the end of, when we conclude a book of the Torah, we say that together as a congregation. Chazak, chazak ve how about the next one? Uh, that second letter is a dalit or a reish? A dalit? No, it's a reish. It's just a curve, a smooth curve on the right. I can make this a little larger for you. That might help a little. Well, it's large enough. I just don't understand how it's a reish. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at the, uh, the alphabet. And actually, uh, we're very close to this letter for you, Peru. It's the Dalit versus the Reish. So let's take a look at the Reish. Here's the Reish. I'm not sharing. Here's the Reish. Keep that in your mind, Maria. And now take a look at the Dalit. Oh, they are similar. They're very similar, yeah. What would you say is the, the main difference between your race and your Dalit? The Dalit, the line is in a little bit. Okay. And the race? It's not. Right. So let's take another look at our red word. Do you want it's to give this R, one? It's an R sound. Right, yeah. So Barach. Very nice. Perus, can you try that one? Barach. It never fails. The minute I'm about to ask a new joiner a question, they disappear. <laughs> <laughs> she must be struggling with her, her audio, her um, network. Okay. Barach. So here's an interesting situation, guys. Is, um, Take a look at the next word, Maria. See if you can pronounce that one. What's the last letter? That's your chaf sofit. What sound does it make? Barach. Barach. So it sounds very similar to the barach that we just read. It, as a matter of fact, it sounds exactly the same. 
but it's a different letter, so it has a different meaning. Barach with a chet means to flee, and barach with a chaf sofit means to bless. Let's try another red word. How about this one? I'm not familiar with that first letter. That's your kuf again, the kuf, the K sound. Cut out. Oh. Cut out. Let me hear the vet very clearly at the end. Karav. Karav. Nice, to come near. And that is related to the Arabic and then through the Arabic to the Kiswahili to the word karibu, which is how we say thank you or welcome uh, in, in Kiswahili. Karav means to come near or be near. Karibu. So let's speak karibu, karibu, karibu. <laughs> I have trouble with my reish, yes. but I'm practicing, yes. So let's be detectives now. Let's see if we can find uh, Joseph. Let's find Chet Zion Kuf, Chazak, in our verse. Can we find Chet Zion Kuf in our verse? Uh, yes, the first word. Nice, you want to pronounce that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Kihizak. Kihizak. Beautiful. Kihizak. He should he shall he shall strengthen. May he strengthen. So chazak means strong, and this is an intensive form, chizak. Chazak becomes chizak. It means to strengthen. Let's try another one. How about the second one, barach? Can we find Barach? There are some noise from Gideon. on your end, Joseph. I'm not sure what, what that is. It is from Gideon. Oh, okay. No problem. Yes. Barach using the... The chet. Yes, the, chet. the second okay. word, the second word, it is well done. Berichay. Very nice. That's a good one. That's a very good one. Um, that wasn't obvious and you didn't have any red to give you a clue. So there's an interesting relationship here. Actually, a Bariach is a bolt, something that closes the gate of your compound to keep it secure. When you want to keep your compound secure, you bolt the gate. And bariach is the word for bolt. So basically, it prevents anybody inside from fleeing. So there's some relationship between barach and bariach, albeit ten tentative. But briche is a special form it's this seire yud at the end, which suggests there's going to be a, a uh, connection. The, the seire yud, like we had yesterday with Elohe Avotenu, the God of our fathers, we have briche she'araich, the, the, the bolts of your gates, the bolts of he'e, your gates, she'araich. May he strengthen the bolts of your gates. Then we have Barach with the Chaf Sofit. Maria, do you want to find Barach with the Chaf Sofit? Um, can you show me the red again? Yeah. Is it bless? Yeah, it means bless, right. Um, okay, let me look at it real quick again. Um, oh, okay. Take a good look. Bet Reish Chav Sofi. Okay. Okay. Is it um, the last word on the first line? Well done. Yes. Do you want to try and pronounce that form of it? Get the vowels right. Barach. Nice. Except what's the first vowel under the bet? Barach. There you go, Beirach. Beautiful. Good. Very good, yeah. 
Gideon, are you able to recite the verse for us? Yes. It's in a very nice place. Right. But I, I do is I do hear your voice well, so that's a good thing. Very hey. Very hey. She, she, she a raich. She a raich. Berach. Berach. Banaich. Banaich. Bekri. Bech. Bekir Bech. Bekir Bech. You want to give it one more try? Be careful with the... Um, Chizak, give the, the chirik its full due. Ki chizak. And the rest of it was just beautiful. One more time. Ki chizak. This is a, a kuf. Ki chizak. This is a K sound like, like kilamani. Ki chizak. Ki chizak. Ki chizak. She ara she ara yakhi. She ara. Oh, hold on. This is Berach. a fox so feet with the shva in it. So it just it just finishes she a ara. close. She ara yich. She ara. She ara yich. Yes. Well done. Berach. Nice. Berach. Banuk. Bekri Bech. Very nice. Bekir and again, I, I draw your attention to the repetition of letters, Joseph. Take a close look at these words. Beriche Sha'araich. Beriche Sha'araich. Yes. Yes. This is the poetry of the Hebrew. This is why we're 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 fortunate to be able to read it in the Hebrew. You guys have a, a nice a nice advantage to, to appreciate the beauty of the verses. Um, would you give it to us also, Joseph? Ki chizak? Yes. Ki chizak? Berichei? She'arayich? Beirach Banaich Bekir Beik. Beautiful. Very nice. Very nice. So let's uh, translate. And may you fortify the bolts of your gates. He will fortify the bolts of your gates. He will bless your sons who are within. Very nice. Nice job. Let's see if we can't um, do a little bit of reading drill for Maria and um...